guys. If you want to start detailing steel in advanced steel, this tutorial is for you. In few videos, I will show you how to make a complete project from start to finish. I will show you entire procedure from setting up a new project to making a final set of drawings and also how to make revisions to your project. We will be making all of this based on maintenance steel platform for Chicago Transit Authority. In this video, I will show you how to place columns. This is not a standard advanced steel project, but because of that, I have decided to share it with you. Once you get the idea how to detail this platform, making any other project will appear super easy. Stick around and check out other videos in this playlist. Consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified instantly whenever I upload a new video. The project file is available on my website for free. Link in the description below. If you need to buy advanced steel software, check out my link below to get a nice discount. Open the project file. You can find the free download link in the description. We will be placing an L4 by 4 by half inch posts on the top of W6 by 20 beams. These are going to be corner posts for the railing. As you can see, the post is 1 and 3 quarter inch from the edge, and in the other direction is 1 inch from the edge of W6 by 20, as shown here on the section view. Go to the top view. First, I need to extend the W6 by 20 beam to pass W5 by 19 beam by 2 inches. I will do the same on the other side of this platform to match the section view I just showed you. Change the view type to 2D wireframe. I'm going to extend the beams below to align with the edge of the beam on the top. So we are done with all the prep work. Let's place our columns. Go to Work Planes in Project Explorer. As you can see, we need to place the bottom of our column on the top of the beam, which corresponds to the level 6 and 3 16th of an inch above level 0, which is level 1 in our case. Click to choose the bottom level of the column level 1. And as the top of the column, pick level 4. Our new column will be placed between those two levels. Pick a column tool in the Home tab Object section. Click where the two grids intersect. We just placed our first column. Go to the other side of the platform and click the grid intersection again. Click Enter. In the dialog box, we need to choose the proper column type. We need to choose L4 by 4 by half inch. First, let's choose in the section that we need an angle. Then confirm that we need AISC identical angles. And in the last drop down, let's find our L4 by 4. Now let's adjust the positioning of the column. Double click on our angle. Go to positioning. Let's rotate this angle into proper position. Close the dialog box. Now move the angle to align with the edge of the beam. The other side of the angle needs to go past the edge of the beam by 1 inch. First I have aligned with the edge of the beam and then I have moved it by 1 inch. As 
you might remember, the beam is offset by one and three quarter of an inch from the other edge of the beam. So let's move it. Our first column is adjusted properly. Now let's do the similar thing with the column on the other side of our platform. Double click on the column. Go to positioning. Rotate the column. Align with the beam edges. Move proper distances from the edges. Go to the 3D view. Change the visual type to conceptual. The columns are in place with proper heights and in the proper position. 